Monday the 27th of April and it's the start of week 6. Tuesday the 28th of April and it's pouring down my brain. Wednesday the 29th of April, my net mood's not brilliant. Yesterday I didn't really do anything, I just laid there um, because I just had no energy and I just felt miserable. Today I'm actually out of bed so that's a start. Um, still no energy though, I don't know if you guys can see but my bags under my eyes are horrendous, I can't get rid of them. Um, so I'm constantly tired now, like constantly tired and yeah my mood, is, even now my mood's just a bit, pfft, I can't be bothered, I'm not in the mood for things. Um, I think by lunchtime I will have just gone back to laying on the sofa or in bed watching TV because I just can't be bothered. I'm, I'm done with it all, I'm really done with this, I'm done with this whole situation. I'm looped like my energy levels getting lower and lower. I'm fed up. I'm lonely. I, I'm just done with this shit. I'm fed up now. Thursday the 30th of April. I'm currently doing some work. Then I'm going to study for a little while. And I don't know what else with Elbury. Have I done much today? No, I've been cold, so I've been curled up on the sofa in a blanket, not doing much, not moving much. I have, however, just done a quick sketch. I'm going to be sending a card to the pub owners I work at, just as a little, like, hello, thinking of you kind of thing, and let them know that I miss them in the pub, because I do, I miss them very much, and I miss the pub. And yeah, it's, it'll do. It's a little doggy playing a guitar. It will suffice, I think. It's kind of cute, but I'll get that sent to them as a little pick-me-up kind of thing. But yeah, not done much. Friday the 1st of May. Um, I have a doctor soon. I have a doctor's at 10 past 10. And that's going to be the first time I would have left like the house properly instead of just walking around the field. Like first time I've gone into town since the beginning of April. And I'm really anxious about it. I'm anxious about it because I'm leaving the house and the people around here are like really judgy. If, as soon as someone leaves the house, they're like, oh, they should be out of the house. Uh, they're, like, they're proper like judgy, the people around here. So I'm anxious about that. And then I'm anxious because I don't know what the protocol is now for the doctors. Like, should I be covering my face? But I don't have really anything to use to cover my face. Um, do I check in and then go stand outside? Is there a place to check in out the side? Um, or is it a case that you just go straight through? Um, I just don't know, I've got all these questions and I'm confused and I don't know what to expect and that then makes my anxiety higher. So yeah, I'm anxious about that but I can't wait to go to the doctors at, at the same time because I'm getting my injection and my injection keeps me happy so maybe my like, energy levels will start to come back up and everything after this. So I'm excited to get my injection but I'm dreading the whole process of going to the doctors. And yeah, and I've just spent £50 on my mum and sister. Um, sister's a bit down, mum and dad are a bit meh, gloomy and that. So I've got them both a tree each that's going to be delivered Tuesday. And in total that just cost me £50. It was like £25 each for them. But hopefully it'll give them a ray of sunshine and cheer them up a little bit. But yeah, rest of the day I don't know what we're doing after the doctors. No reason to be anxious for the doctors. It went perfectly fine. It's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that they actually let you into the building. But you still have to sit in the waiting room. So it was a bit silly really for me being anxious. I know I shouldn't have been. Um, the rest of the day I'm exhausted. Like absolutely shattered. I have no energy at all. So I'm going to have like a 20 minute power nap. And then depending on how I feel after that. I might either study, craft or just relax and game and sleep because I'm have I have no energy. I'm I'm absolutely shattered. I got mail or I think Wiggles got mail. I'm pretty sure this is something for Wiggles. But my postman always comes super early. So like today he came and I was still in my nightdress and I had my hair up in a bun and I was brushing my teeth. So I was trying to like say thank you to him and sort the mail out whilst I had my toothbrush hanging out my mouth. So I feel sorry for him because I don't think he's ever seen me look dressed. He's probably the only man in like, well he is the only man in two, how many years am I single? Two? Two years? Has seen me looking like I've just woken up. He's probably, actually no, my sister sees me waking up. So him and my sister are the only people in two years that have seen me when I've just woken up. I feel sorry for him. My sister deals with it, she has to when we're on holiday and you know, she lived with me whilst, I was, whilst we grew up, so she's used to the monster. 
But I feel sorry for my mailman that deals with it. And it is a present for Wiggles. So we have loads of like plastic. Oh, stuff for me as well. Um, I've got two things for me. These aren't like essentials, but you know. Um, I've got a Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. This is tiny. I thought this was going to be bigger than that. Um, my concealer's getting low and I still wear makeup because that's what I'm trying to keep some sort of routine. So I still put a little bit of eyelet, like, concealer on it. My eyes are getting worse anyway. So I want some concealer. And um, this costs like £5 for something that big. I used to get them from factory shop for like two quid. That's a bit annoying. But oh well. And then I needed some face moisturiser. And this is maybe an, this was five pounds or something like that as well. This was quite expensive. But I'm trying to go for eco-friendly products as much as I can. And um, so all my like face stuff usually is um, eco-friendly, plastic-free if possible, or vegan and like things. So this is Sukun Australian Natural Sensitive Facial Moisturiser, and this came up when I researched as um, vegan-friendly, as close to eco-friendly as possible. So it's vegan, natural, Australian-made, and purity-free. So hopefully. It works, hopefully not. And then the other thing, Wiggles has already come to the box, because she knows that the last thing in here is for her. So she used to have one of these. This is a um, scratcher for like a cat to sit in, but it's a UFO, UFO one. She used to have one of these and she loves it. She always used to sit in it. But we had an incident four days ago, I think, where um, she would had pooed everywhere it got stuck on her butt i can't get into this to give it to her but yeah it got stuck on her butt and um yeah i really can't get into this and i'm not going to use my teeth because you know COVID 19 or whatever but yeah it got stuck on her butt and it went from all from the kitchen to the living room and she wiped all over our ufo box so i just chucked it out so i cleaned it and then i thought i can't like not replace it so i got her a new one and it's quite nice because it does come with a cat nip as well so she can be fun and I've just noticed that this is a reversible one, so when this side gets too scr scratched up, I can just push it through and she can have it again, use this side. So that's quite cool. But I'm going to open it up, give it to her, and then you can see her reaction or something. Wiggles! Some catnip on there for her. Ooh, catnip! Oops, that might be too much. Ooh, Wiggles, it's a new box! the best. Happy? I think so. Sunday the 3rd of May. I didn't record anything yesterday because I had a really bad headache but I did do some painting so I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, one of the guys I work for is building a man cave and he requested, he asked, well, he asked if I could paint on some like sporty canvases to go up. So I've done boxing gloves for him this time around. Everyone I've shown up to like it. I'm not 100% sure about it though, um, it just something that doesn't seem right to me, so I'll show you guys and you guys can let me know what you think of it. So this is the paint and it's just something to this glove I think, this one, that I'm not entirely sure about it. I've already changed it once, but I don't know, I'm still not 100% sure of it, so I'm not sure if I'll show it to him or not, like maybe let me know if you see something wrong with it as well and see something that doesn't just look right. Let me know, or if you just like it, let me know maybe, and then I can decide if I show it to him or not. I also pan painted a pin board, which I'm going to use for my miscellaneous pins. It's just black, silver, and purple, like really simple. But um, I just wanted some sort of like background for it so I can display the pins. Um, I'm tired, I'm not sleeping much at all this whole week, so I think throughout the week you could probably see that the bags under my eyes are getting worse. Wiggles keeps waking me up at like 3 in the morning, I'm not falling asleep till 12 um, but then she wakes me up about 3, half 3 and then I can't sleep again afterwards so I'm running on very little sleep. I have a headache again because I'm the idiot that whacked her head on the fridge door. Um, this side of me is really hurt, I did have a red mark but I think it's faded now but god does it hurt. Um, I'm going to do some cooking, I'm not going to record it how I usually would where you'd see me making the stuff, I'm just going to get straight into it so I'm going to watch TV at the same time. And I'm not going to make my Disney stuff, usually every week I've been doing Disney, something from my Disney magazines. But this week I thought I wanted to do something savoury so originally I was going to do some like cheese straws. But then I came across this recipe and I thought I'm going to give this a try because I've never done it before. So it's called Mini Mortal Spicy Corn and Cheddar Muffins, um, it should make 24 apparently. And it's from my um, True Blood 
drinks and bites cookbook i love these recipe books and the drinks in there sound amazing i'm just not that sort of person but i liked i don't know i mainly wanted these books because i love true blood but they have some good recipes in there so i'm gonna try this one hope it works and i'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done they're done um they're chili cheese and onion muffins i didn't have enough mixture though to make 24 i made like 15 i think I had no idea what I did wrong, but I didn't have enough mixture to make 24. And I'm not, they don't really feel right. They feel like, probably like bread like, I think. So it'll be interesting to try them. Now, though, I have to try it, wash up. Anyone want to do my washing up for me? Any offers? I love it. If someone could wash up for me. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Oops. I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm not going to do much anymore. It's nearly dinner time, and then I'll just curl up in bed and read. So I won't be doing much for today. But yeah, this week was a bit of a down week. Didn't really do much. Um, weren't feeling too great quite a lot of time. Had a lot of headaches. So it weren't the best of weeks. But hopefully tomorrow and next week will go better. But yeah, thanks for watching and stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow.